Alright, hi guys. So today we'll be doing SPM 2016, pa Advanced Paper 2, Question 5. So here's the question. Okay, let's go. So, uh, part A, it wants you to determine how many times the resultant velocity of boat B is when it's compared to the resultant velocity of boat A. So this is what you need to find. So first step, you have to determine both resultant velocities of boat A and boat B. So for boat A, I'll call it VA, equals to the velocity of boat A is affected by the water and its own velocity. So you should get W, which is for water, and itself. So it will be I plus 1 over 2 J plus 2i plus j. So that should get you 3i plus 3 over 2j. Alright, how about for boat B? I'll call it VB. For VB, it's affected by water again plus its own velocity. So that's I plus 1 over 2j plus, now the velocity of boat B is 6i and 3j. So that should give you um, 7i plus 7 over 2j. Alright, now you have both velocities, what should you do now? So, uh, using this formula again, VB equals to N times of VA. So, 7I plus 7 over 2J equals to 3I plus 3 over 2J times N. Alright, so uh, what you can do is you, is you can find a common factor in between the both of these vectors. So I can take out 7, that would leave me with i and half j. And on this side, if I take out 3, and that would also leave me with i and 1 over 2 j. Because these are the same thing, I can cancel it out. So I have 7 equals to 3n. So n equals to 7 over 3. And that is your answer for part A. Alright, part B now. B part 1 wants you to find the resultant velocity of both C. Now, uh, this, in this case, uh, they are acting in different directions, so you just have to add them together. So, also W plus velocity of C. So, I plus half J plus 2I minus 3 over 2 J. That would give you 3I minus J. So that's B part 1. B part 2 wants the unit vector. So unit vector, the formula is as like this. The unit vector equals to the vector itself divided by the magnitude of the vector. So what you have to find is, yes, you have to find the magnitude of this velocity. So is Vc equals to the magnitude is using this 3 square plus negative 1 square which should give you square root of 10. And now that you have that, you can use that to find the unit vector which is Vc. So the ve uh, vector of Vc is 3i minus j divided by the magnitude which is square root of 10. This is your answer.
Thank you.